I am Anna, and today I will be teaching you how to make the Tropico bracelet. So, this is how it looks like. I made this with two looms long so that it could, so that I don't have to use an extension. This bracelet is so elegant. Like, oh, it is so gorgeous. So, the creator of this awesome bracelet was loom mint without underscores or anything so i will show you her profile so she has 300 and cent wait my little sister is kind of crazy oh yeah okay so loom mint is the creator of this awesome bracelet and yeah um she has an awesome account all her pictures are like Super elegant, like, ah, oh, so gorgeous. For example, here, um, it is the picture of this bracelet. Yeah, her, her rendition is a lot more gorgeous. So, yeah, please go give her a follow. Because she totally deserves more followers. So now, let's see what do you need. Okay. So you will obviously need a loom. If you want this bracelet to fit your wrist, you have to use two looms long so that, yeah, you know. So you will need colors of bands, obviously. <laughs> and, oops, I don't know. Today I will be using tie-dye jelly, neon blue, and glow white. The white, I'm going to use it for the borders, just like I did here. And the neon blue, will be one of these and the tie-dye jelly will be one of these inside cutters too. So, oh by the way, please do not skip the part where I loop the border because if you can see it is a fishtail border. So you have to be really careful. So you will need your hook, obviously, and a C-clip, S-clip, or any type of closure. Oh, and by the way, Okay, by the way, again, obviously, yeah. I like using those words. So, sorry about all the background noises. Okay, so, take your loom. We're going to use it on the staggered configuration. Looms, arrows pointing up. And now take your border color. Mine is white. Okay, bye. You're going to place it you're basically going to do a normal border, so from this first pin, go to the outside, just like that. You do the same thing, but on this side. And then you're just going to go up, all the way down your limb. So yeah, you basically, I'm not going to do, to give a lot of detail, because you should know how to do this. It is pretty easy. Pretty, pretty easy. There's nothing weird or something. But. And I am not a speed loomer, so if you are, just, just keep this band placing or something. And if you are slower than me, just pause the video and yeah. So, please take your time so that this bracelet looks really clean and yeah make sure your bands do not twist because we don't want our bracelet to be twisting to have twist bands sorry twisted bands Ooh. okay uh -huh. and then here in the second to last peg you're going to stop we are not going to close the bracelet, the border, okay? We're going to do that at the bend, at the last bend placing, placing, sorry. So now we are going to place the inside bands. So you can start on the right or on the left. It doesn't matter, it will look the same. So I'm going to start with the left, because why not? And I'm going to use my tie-dye jelly for this side. So you will skip this one and start from here and you're going to go diagonally to the right, just like that. 
Wait, I'm going to zoom in a little bit. Oh, I have a disaster over here. Just like that. Now just go like this. And you will basically do this zigzag pattern until you get to the end of your loom. It is really easy. It is just like doing a single chain. So don't twist your pants. Take your time. Sorry about all the background noises. My family, it is, my family is a really noisy, <laughs> noisy, okay, just created that word, okay, because yellow. Um, and it is, my family is working right now. What? Oh, okay. Uh, sorry, I, it is just that I originally speak Spanish and my dad is telling me that the noisy word is already been created. <laughs> oh, okay. So I'm about to end this pattern. No. Oops! Neon blue band. No. Tie dye jelly. Tie dye jelly. Tie dye jelly. And we're going to end up right here. Okay, don't Go like this, okay? Now, go down your loom once you've finished doing all this. Go down your loom, and now you're going to take the pants of the other side. Here I used neon yellow, so I'm going to use neon blue for this. So, I'm going to do the same exact thing, but on the other side. And, yeah. Just like that, like this, and you'll do that all the way down your loom. Okay. Okay. I can't explain this really well and I don't have I think because if you are making this bracelet you are supposed to be an advanced loomer okay so sorry so sorry so sorry okay I'm at the middle of my loom blah 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 blah, blah. yeah just like that so I'm going to speed it up a little bit because Oh, you could, okay. <laughs> Sorry about my little sister. <laughs> cause she's blowing like bubbles and she's excited cause she could. Okay, so that's why, what she told me. Uh, oops, no, oops, oops. Now I'm about to get to the end, just like that. Now, just like this and now once you get over here, we're going to bring our border bands again, which for me is white. And you're going to, now, you're going to close the border. So like this, go from this pin diagonally to the right. And then the same thing, but on the left, on the right, on the right, but like going to the left and uh, just forget what I said. And now, if your loom looks something like this, but with different colors, or the same colors, whatever. Now you can turn your loom around so that the arrows, oops, are pointing to you or down. Or, yeah. Now you're going to take your border band and you're going to do a simple capping band. So just do, oops, make a figure eight, place it. So double capped band. Now I'm going to zoom in a little bit so that you can see. Now I'm going to go inside of my capping bin and I'm going to grab, oh, 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 press attention here, okay, put attention. So grab that <laughs> top band, oh no, okay, nothing happened. That's easy to fix. We just have to replace these and replace the capping band and nothing happened. Oops. Now go inside your capping bin, grab that top end and put it here. But, how to make the fishtail border. So, we're not going to let it over there. So, just pull it until you get to the second peg right here. Well, yeah, it is basically the third. So, you're going to stretch this, oops, that door slam. Oh my god. Okay, you're going to stretch this band on these two pins. Do the same thing here. Oops, grab that last band. Place it here, but also here, okay? 
That's why I didn't want you to like skip this part. So now once we hooked the little borders over here, we are going to go inside this side, inside this side also. And we're going to push two bands. We're going to grab that neon blue band, grab it. We're going to place it right over here in the center. Do the same thing on the right. So go inside, grab that top band. Oops. Uh, door. Yeah, sorry. And oops. Too much noises. And ah, too much noises. Oh, uh, so sorry. Place it on the center now. Once we just looped that band, those bands, sorry. We're going to loop the border band. So press, put attention off. Go inside, grab that, that last band over there. And we're going to put it here, but we're going to stretch it to the peg above. So this band should be in this peg and this peg. Now, do something here. Go inside, grab that border band, place it here and here. Now, go inside the center once you loop the band, the border band. Go inside and you're going to grab the top band, which for me, ugh, which for me is that neon blue band. Oops, sorry I'm looking at the camera, not at the real life blue. So, go inside. Grab that last band over there, and that should go to the right or the left. It depends on how you placed the bands. And now we're going to repeat this, the steps we did here. So go on the left or the right, whatever. It's the same thing. And you're going to go inside here, and we're going to loop these bands, okay? So go inside, grab that neon blue band. Oops, grab it, and oh yes, I grabbed the wrong band, of course. Of course. Now I'm just going to organize my bands. Okay, a little bit. Eh. Eh. Okay, now go inside. Grab that neon blue band. This time I grabbed it. Huh. And place it on the center. Same thing here. Inside. Oops. 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 Inside. Top end. And center. Just like that. I'm going to twist my bands. Wait. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. There you are. Now we're going to loop the borders. So go inside, this side, inside, this side. Grab that border band and remember, do not just let it sit over there. We're going to put it here, but also we're going to stretch it to the peg above this one, okay? Now do the same thing on the right. Grab that band, place it here, but also stretch it and place it here. Oops. There you are. Now we're going to repeat the steps, this sequence kind of thing. So, inside, top band, which for me is neon blue, and to the left, go inside, last band, for me is tie-dye jelly, and right. There you are. Now we're going to repeat the same steps. Go inside, grab that top band, which should be the neon blue, where for me, well for me. Now grab it, oops, 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 and place it on the center, same thing here, grab it, place it on the center. Now borders, go inside, I'm going a little bit faster right now, because you should already got this, or whatever, and place it here, but also stretch it to the peg block, this one. So just like that, now, these band is taking two pegs, do the same thing on the right, grab it, Ooh, wait, I think I forgot, no, 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 I didn't, no, I didn't, okay, loop it, well, my tripod is kind of weird, placed, so stretch it, and there you are, now go inside, once you looped the border bands, we're going to go inside the center here, grab that top neon blue band, and place it to the left or the right. It depends on how you place the bands at the start. Go inside, grab that, place it. Da -da 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 -da. Now it is a little bit faster, okay? Because we're repeating the same steps.
Okay, I'm going to zoom out a little bit, just like that, so that you can see, like, how my limb is looking like, and all of that. So, please catch up. If I'm really fast for you, just pause the video. If I'm too slow for you, uh, um, just speed the video, or I don't know how to say it, to be honest. And, yeah, we'll go sideways like this, because my tripod is over here. Uh, remember, once you loop these bands to the inside, we're going to loop the borders. Don't, do not loop this first, okay? Once you looped this, go inside and loop the border. Remember, the border takes two pins. Just like that. Oh, yeah, it's here. Hmm. Oops. Now you can loop the outside bands. The bands that go to the outside. Just like that. Now I'm going to speed up a little bit because the video is going to take so long. And I don't know how to edit videos, but I promise I will learn. Because you know. I have an Android and I wish iCrafts could teach me how to edit. She has all Apple devices, so. I feel so bad. Okay. Speed up, speed up, speed up, speed up, speed up. But remember, you should take your time. But right now I'm kind of kind of um rushed. So oops. Eh, come on. I don't want this to take a lot to upload. Eh. Oh by the way, um all of my oops. Wait. No, yeah. All of my limb supplies are from Rainbow Loom, or from the official Rainbow Loom brand, you know. Sorry, someone's coming, my dad's coming, someone's singing, someone's coming, someone's going to, downstairs, you know. My mom is talking, everyone's making a lot of noises, my mom is walking downstairs. Oh my god. Lots of noises, lots of noises. Oh, sorry. And they are speaking Spanish. So you shouldn't know what they are talking about. You know? Oh, I almost get to. Ooh, I'm out of camera. Oh my god, so sorry because the tripod is over here. Doesn't let me put my room down. Oops. And oh my god. Exactly when I'm filming, you want to do any type of noise. <sighs> now, go inside. Now we're almost in the end. Well, I am, obviously. In the end. Whoops, whoops. Get out of here, tripod. Okay, now we're at the end. So, now we're going to go grab here. Go inside. Like that. And. Have that, but now we don't have another pin over here. Where am I? Over here. Over here. So now we're going to stretch it normally. We're going to loop that band normally, because why not? Just like that. Now we can loop the bands that go to the outside. Mm -hmm. And now we can just go inside here. We can close our border. So it should be just like this. Now, if you are using one loom, we're going to do a extension. So you're just going over here, Let's take, like, put the hook over here, take your extension band or border, just go inside. Oh, oh my god. There you are. And now we're going to make a single chain with our hook. So, inside. Hook, blah blah blah, blah blah blah. And now we're going to do a single chain, okay? Uh, let's do this over here. Really fast, because you should know how to do this. Oh, my womb is falling. Ah! Okay, okay, nothing's happening. Nothing's happening, guys. Nothing's happening. Nothing's happening. Nothing's happening, okay? Don't be scared. Nothing's going to fall. Nothing's going to fall. 
Whew, I'm scared. Oh no. It's so hard to limit the camera. This struggle is real. Okay. Whoops, whoops, oh no, 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 no. Now, my last one is the border band. So, and now, we can sick clip this. Just like that. And now, take it off your loom and see the awesome results. So, see you guys later, please. Give this video a thumbs up and follow us on Instagram. Um, Lumens Instagram is just at L O O M I no L O O M M I N T. So mine's Looming underscore by underscore Anna. And see you guys later. Hope you liked it. Sorry about all the noises. Bye.